Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us talk about sexual reproduction in human beings. So when we talk about sexual reproduction, in fact when we talk about human beings, sexual reproduction is the only mode of reproduction. Asexual reproduction in human beings is not possible. So this is the only possible mode of reproduction. So that is why in human beings, uh, you cannot think of one person giving birth to babies. So for giving birth to a baby, a man and a woman, both of them are required. And that is why we have very distinct male and female sexes. So now we will talk about the male and the female reproductive organs separately. And then we will look at their functions and we will see how exactly the male and the female gametes are produced by the male and female reproductive organs respectively. But then in human beings also, it is not that every human being is capable of reproducing. So initially when a baby is born, that baby is not capable of giving birth to a new human being. So only after a certain age, a man or a woman becomes capable of giving birth to a new organism. That means they are capable of reproducing only after a certain age. And that age is called as puberty. So let us talk about puberty in human beings. So we say that only after a human being attains puberty, he or she has entered into the reproductive phase of his or her life. That means that person is now capable of reproduction. So how do we define puberty? So puberty is that period during which the rate of general body growth slows down and reproductive tissues starts maturing. This is important. Now what happens when a person or when a human being is very small, maybe a one or two year old baby. So that time the entire energy which is present inside the body that gets used up in growth because that person has to grow. The kid's height has to increase, the kid's weight has to increase, its brain has to develop. So that is the those are the growing years of a person's life and that is why your parents provide you nutritious food so that you can have good growth. But at, after a certain age, your physical growth stops. You do not, your, do you think that you, your height keeps on increasing throughout your life? No, you stop increasing in height after a certain age. Similarly, your weight stops increasing after a certain age. So the way your body is developing or the way your brain is developing, all these things stop at a certain age. So then that time what happens, the energy which was earlier being used for your physical growth is now used for the growth of your reproductive parts. The reproductive tissues will start utilizing that energy and they will start becoming mature and that is when you enter into the reproductive phase of your life. So a very simple example, let us suppose when you are in school, you are in your junior classes, what is your basic job? Your basic job is to study. So you spend all your energy and time in studying. So study is your priority. Now once you finish your school and you go to a good college, then what happens? Study is still your priority, but now you are your time or your energy is also consumed in other recreational activities, taking care of your looks, having some fun. So you also start spending time in other things. So study doesn't take the first priority now because you have got other things also to do in life. So in a similar way, in case of the energy which is present inside your body, in the initial years of your life it, is, life, it is all used up for your body growth. But once your body has grown substantially, then the same energy is utilized for the growth of your reproductive tissues. Now, puberty happens in different people in different ways, but there are some of the uh, changes which are quite common in both, which, which are quite commonly seen in all persons, whether male or female, and that indicates that they have entered puberty. So, you can very easily distinguish between a girl who is very small, maybe uh, a girl who is some 10 years old and a girl who is 15 years old. But just by looking at their physical appearance, you can make out that one of them have entered into puberty. 
Puberty is also known as adolescence. So it is basically that phase of life which is between your childhood and adulthood. So it is that intermediate phase of your life. So now we will see what are the changes observed during puberty? How do you know that this person has entered his puberty? So in case of males, some of the changes are thick hair growth under armpits and genital area. So near the reproductive parts, you see a lot of hair coming up, which was not present earlier. Facial hair, appearance of hair on your face, the appearance of beard and moustache. These are also signs of puberty. Change in voice. In case of males, you will see that their voice becomes more coarse and uh, it becomes a cracky voice comes up. So the voice of a small kid who is some four or five years old and the voice of a, a boy who is some 16, 17 years old, you can make out the difference between the two. So the voice quality changes. Occasional penis enlargement. So penis is the primary, is one of the important uh, male reproductive organ and sometimes and occasionally there is enlargement of penis which takes place. Now how this enlargement happens, why this happens, we will take that up when we talk about the male reproductive parts. Some of the changes which are observed in females during puberty are start of menstruation cycle so what is menstruation cycle so it is a cycle which takes place periodically every 28 days in all females and in this cycle there is a lot of bleeding from the vagina and it la and this bleeding lasts for some three to four days every month and as long as this menstruation cycle continues, a female is said to be in the reproductive phase. That means the female is capable of reproducing. So generally, the cycle starts when a female is uh, some 11 to 13 years old. So a female attains puberty between the age of 11 to 13 years. So it also starts around that time. And again, as the female grows old, maybe somewhere around 45 or 50, this cycle stops. So you can see that a female cannot reproduce before the menstruation cycle starts and also she cannot reproduce once it stops. So start of menstruation, menstruation cycle is an important indication of puberty. Breast enlargement, so you see that in small girls you do not see you do not uh, notice the appearance of breasts much but as the girl grows up you can see the enlargement of breasts hair growth under armpits and genital areas so in females also you see a lot of hair growing near the reproductive parts thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.